what? Football, what? And, and gays. How is that not a yellow card? Fantastic football freedom, well done. Get yourselves in, get a drink. Oh, I need a drink. Do we have anything stronger than Lucas Aid? Hi, so my name's Jez and I'm one of the co-founders of the Soho Football Club. We started here at Quorum's Fields about eight years ago on a Friday night at eight o'clock and it was winter, it was miserable and we only had eight people. And we sort of we went around and found enough to have a, an eight-a-side game and some of those players are still with us. My name is Mark Wing. I am the co-manager of Soho Freedom which is the second Soho team that was set up for, for this season. It has been fantastic to, to get playing again and to feel comfortable playing again in, in an environment that is so inclusive. I played football all my life growing up uh, in Cork in Ireland and I moved to London about 10 years ago and um, to live like the happy life in London being an out gay man. Uh, and I kind of thought, well, that's the end of football for me, probably. Uh, it's just not something you associate with uh, being openly gay and, and playing football. Um, but then I, I was at a Pride event, actually, when I first came to London, and I met Jez and Oz, who are the, the chairman and the manager, and, uh, and a load of guys in football jerseys. And I remember they kicked the ball to me, and I think I just passed it back, and they went, whoa, sign him up, he can kick the ball. So FC is like a family to me now. I feel safe and I feel um, that I belong to a certain community that I'm so proud of, to be honest. Yo, Ash, you want to be left or right? Uh, it is one of the places where I have felt right. the most accepted and the most comfortable and the most, you know, the most welcome. And it is very rewarding or very encouraging because a lot of the my friends here like aren't trans, aren't non-binary, and yet their response to hey, I've got a funky gender, is like, oh, hey, can I learn about this? Hey, what, does, what do I have to do to help you? What do I have to do to do that? Which one's in? It's not even the top. I played to a decent level in Cork until um, right into university and uh, never, definitely never told anyone on my team. Uh, never talked about my sexuality. and So it's been really cool being able to be open about it here. I think it, I think it makes me play differently. Uh, I think I feel more creative on the pitch because I feel more relaxed actually, you know, you can just be open, you don't feel like you're keeping any secrets. Go on, Kian. We recruited somebody last year who had been in London for a number of years, um, he's from Yorkshire, and didn't realise that there was such a thing as gay football. And yet London has its, has its own league, there is a national league as well, and there are now LGBT teams from um, up in Scotland right down to the south of England. Um, and, and in Wales, all over. It's, it's grown fantastically in the last 12, 15 years. There's lots of other less healthy activities you could be getting up to at the weekend. You know, it's great to have football on, on a Sunday morning. It keeps you in on a Saturday night as well. And yeah, it's good. I think what we want to continue doing is keep growing and, uh, and, and moving on and raising the standards and promoting visibility. Even if I have to change how I play and the level I play at, uh, I always want to be part of football and, and then maybe eventually move into coaching or whatever. I see myself playing for Soho FC for the next 10, 15 years, to be honest. I'm not stopping until those legs, they can't even run. <laughs> so they better run. <laughs> I don't think any of us are harboring dreams of being professional footballers at this point. You know, the, the football is a means to hanging out and to seeing people and speaking to people and creating a little community and a little family, right? Because it's not just the 90 minutes on the pitch. When you go to the pub afterwards for the drink, when you meet up for socials, we have little friendship groups outside. Everyone needs to feel like that's the family. And that's what me and Fenton will very often call this when we're discussing squads, who's coming to the family this weekend. So that's very much what it's about. <laughs>